this is a Unimog, not ours. <laughs> this is a Unimog. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. If anybody wants to find me, I'll be in the last place you would look. In a place where people used to be, a land that's called reality, you'll find me there. Hi guys. Hi. So today we are here uh, on the way to Playa de Carmen. Give you a little update to the IMM. What is it? INM. Uh, to the INM. Uh, because our visa now, due to Corona COVID-19 in 2020, that's when you watch this video, um, we couldn't leave the country. We cannot go down south to Guatemala is closed, Belize is closed, and the United States are closed. So we thought we'd just get an extension of our visa. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. But we got a message as well from uh, Britta. Uh, she was traveling in her Unimog with us in Baja in United States and we know her a long time. So check out what she has to say. Hello Fabian and Isabella. Greetings to live and give. Long time no here, but as everybody I'm stuck in a shutdown camp. Luckily at the Caribbean Ocean, I'm in Quinta Room, Mexico, and I hope we will meet soon again. As soon as the roads are open, keep it rolling. Wow, thank you, Britta. So thank close, you. so close and so far away. We miss you. <laughs> Yes, and by the way, people who didn't sign up yet for our newsletter, go in the link in above and sign up. There you will get a lot of nice stuff from us. And now, yeah. go and yeah. enjoy the tour of Prita's Unimog. It's an awesome vehicle, she built it herself. Yeah. Check it out. We'll be catching up on Reddit. I won't be watching any news. I let the planet's been without me Cause everything has been without me sometime And everyone will be alright If I'm not live by satellite It's a beautiful day, I'm running away Don't bother to Facebook message or call Hi guys! Hi! Today we are with Rita And she is also a neighbor Germany. <laughs> I think really neighbor. Where are you are from? In um, Germany. Near Regensburg, Neumarkt. And this behind us Ooh. is her truck. And Britta now will show us, will give us the tour of her truck that is made by herself, right? Not alone, but I was part of the process. I mean, drilling, screwing, everything. Just driving it. I'm not a mechanic, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool, let's see that. So this is actually a 1980 Mercedes-Benz Unimog ex-military, German military. As wow. far as I know, it's from a, from a medical squad. Okay. This is also the reason I think while well, this beautiful hatch I like so much never had like a real yeah. uh, measurement for, for, for machine gun or something. Wow. So I can use it as a crawl through to, nice. get, on my, to get on my roof, which I really... Use really a do lot. a lot, yeah. <laughs> and why you decided for a Unimog? There is a reason behind? I don't know why, I always liked Unimogs. I'm in general someone who likes big stuff, no matter if it comes to cars or animals or whatsoever. The clearance, I'm able to go everywhere with okay. that. Other people turn around when there are big rocks, I just smile and keep on going. <laughs> nice. And it's sort of special and I simply didn't want to drive around in a car everybody else has. And I really like them for years now. Yeah, okay. And I think it's also a good idea to go with something like that. A really pure and simple engine. Let me have a breakdown in the middle of South America. Sure. I will always find someone being able to fix, fix that, that engine. And this is really easy to nice. fix. At least I hope. That's my. Yeah, yeah. That's the hope I'm carrying okay. around, you know. Uh -huh. I will get stuck. I turn on a four wheel. I turn on differential. <laughs> okay. And it works out as yes. <laughs> until now. So I'm pretty happy nice. with that. Yeah. The million question. Miles per gallon. Miles per gallon. I can tell you <laughs> since yesterday, it should be around 12 miles per gallon. In German measurement, it's 20 to 23 liters per 100 kilometer. Great. Even though I weigh seven and a half tons. Wow. So it isn't that bad, I okay. think. It should be a five liter engine, but <laughs> I can only tell you for sure that I'm running with 130 horsepower, which isn't that much for the weight I'm carrying. Okay. That means all the people really love that rig. And I always tell them, wait until you're behind 
me when we're going uphill, yes. you will not like me anymore <laughs> then, you know. So I'm running on diesel, of course, and okay. I built in this 500 liter diesel tank, the original tank, wow. you will see it on the other side, this just said 150 liters, uh -huh. which definitely is not enough for the the regions I want to yeah. go. I, this should bring me around about at least 2,000 kilometers. What is this little door? This little door is not my emergency exit. It <laughs> is to empty the toilet tank. You can ah. open it, just pull out the toilet tank like and okay, uh, empty it into nice. the dump station. Cool. Storage boxes, of course, on the outside. I mean, you can never have enough storage room. True. No matter if you have a house or a car, it will always get full. Yes. <laughs> and this is something special. I really have to say thank you to my mechanic at home. He built me this carrier for the motorbike out of an old Unimog chassis I bought. And this was necessary to keep my old-timer license in Germany. Yeah. I couldn't have added some super modern, you know, like carrier for that. It had to be original and this is why we built it out of an old Unimog chassis. That really was a piece of work for him to get it on Make the frame. It I can lower it down to 50 centimeters, okay, and which was there. necessary for Germany to get to get it registered. And I, of course, can lower it down completely to the ground for mounting the bike. Okay. So it's much more easier when you have another person with okay. you. Yeah, this like is the original tank I told you before. Ah, okay. I use that now for fuel for my motorbike. I filled it up with normal, regular fuel so I can fill up my motorbike when I feel like having a ride. Now the nice part, let's see the insides. <laughs> let's see the inside. <laughs> Come in. And now we are in the insides. Look at how much space you have here. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It can fit so many people. <laughs> yeah, 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 we had some parties going on in here, believe me. <laughs> no, that was really something that was important to me to have a little bit airy and spacey. Okay. I, I've been asked a lot of people, so why do you build such a big Unimog? You know, like yes. a little Defender would have been mm -hmm. also suitable for one person. Uh -huh. But actually, it's not a three weeks vacation. And sure. I didn't feel like building something I only could crawl in for sleeping. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm traveling full-time now and let's imagine it is a, it is a three weeks rain period uh -huh. I don't want to just lie in there and look outside I want to be able to move and mm -hmm. to sort of have a daily life cool and this is why nice. I want to have to be like that and the important part to people is that she is traveling alone <laughs> it's so cool like you're traveling alone yes why you decided to travel like that no, actually, there is nobody around I want to have with me in this <laughs> in this little space. I mean, uh -huh. it's really it's really a one people setup, and actually, there is no one I want to have with me okay. all the time. If somebody's interested, please write a comment below. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to South America. <laughs> and another very special friend is hopefully coming for Christmas. So I really look forward to that. I mean, there are pros and cons in traveling alone. Okay. The pros, of course. I can do whatever I want, drive yes. as long as I want, park wherever I want. Uh -huh. On the other hand, you often drive by sceneries or landscapes. You feel like, oh God, did you, you see that? Share. You simply want to share with yes. someone and it's nobody there. Uh -huh. This is the this is the negative yes. side. So okay. yeah, but I'm, I'm really okay with traveling alone. Let cool. me say it like that. You would say for people out there that's afraid to go and travel alone because a lot of women, they are afraid. Yes, I talk to a lot of people who always taught me oh, you're crazy I would never dare to do that so yes. actually the term I heard most since I'm here is I'm a badass obviously nice. I don't feel like a badass <laughs> but yeah you yeah, are but it is possible you can go alone even though you're a woman it's okay. all been done before I'm not the first one you know yes. so it should be possible I cool think. and your next plan then after the US USA you want to go where after the US we'll be crossing into Mexico and go to Baja okay. for let's say one or two months Okay. And then it's Mexico mainland, picking up my other visitor. Okay. And from that on, I will simply head down south. I didn't pick a route yet, you know, okay, it's yeah. all what open happened? from one day to the nice. other. Yeah. Then but you will see more of her because for sure we will cross paths. We will meet up again, yes. I'm sure for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Once I had this dream that I was standing in Osaka. There was a geisha and a refugee and Deep down in her pocket there was a tarnished silver locket And the picture Risa frame had always been empty uh -huh. <laughs> 
She takes that refugee to town and keeps her eyes down on the ground as if she's waiting for the earth to open up and pull the geisha and that man into the cauldrons of Japan beneath the streets of the And now a little to see the insides. First thing that is impressed is this big window on the back. Yeah, which was very important because I simply need a bit of an outside feeling, even yeah. if it's like at night or bad weather or whatsoever. Nice. And yeah, as I don't have like a, a, a rooftop window, which I originally wanted, I decided to build a big, big rear mirror. I can look out uh, can when I lie open? in bed. I can open it. I put up this curtain and it's 100% like Blackout. Not blackout. Then yeah. here's yeah. the sleeping room. You already saw that. Yes. It's a nice room. Which is room. also my biggest storage room. I have everything I need ah, under clothes. this bed. <coughs> my clothes, my tools, my everything. I can show you if you want. Oh, Looks wow. Like and this. a strong woman, too. <laughs> wow. Looks like this. And I still have room, so no need to put up more cupboards. Nice. Or something like that. Great. You know? And then after that, we have the bathroom. That was really important to me that I could, you know, like go with my own toilet, that I don't have to look for a toilet right after waking up yeah. or whatsoever. And a little shower, which is unfortunately still only running with cold water. Oh. But when you look here at my solar system and all this electronical setup, the fact is that I'm producing way too much energy. You can put in our uh, shower. So I can, uh, or I will install something to heat up my water yes. electri electrically. And here then you have your... Yeah, just like a little table. table. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm not sitting here a lot. Most of the things I do, I do in my bed as I always did. But when it goes about, you know, planning a route with a map or yes. something like that, I sit here, put on some music and nice. look where I might be going. And this is the also a storage? Day. This is my water tank actually. Ah. I put it inside to make it, you know, like not being able to freeze when I'm in cold regions. And of course the possibility of using it as a bench. Sure. And how many liters? Was, it should, if it was only up till here, this is why the wood ends here. This was the original measurement. <laughs> it would be um, exactly 150 liters, but they made it longer. So I think I should be around 200 liters, okay. something like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then you also have a crawl through? I also have a crawl through. This was, besides the toilet, the one mandatory thing for me. I had this crawl through in, my, in the back of my mind and more or less concepted the rest around it. I'm alone, let something happen, you know? Yes. In the middle of the night you have the feeling like, oh God, I gotta leave yes. here. You for sure don't want to get out of the truck, run around in the dark and sure. climb in on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I needed this crawl through to be nice. able to get on my driver's seat and head off whenever I feel like. Nice. The and car is registered for three people. Three I mean, people. there are two like passenger seats okay. here, but let's be honest, that wouldn't be comfortable. Yes. So one person yes. and the driver, this is the perfect setup nice. for this here. And, and a little kitchenette with a little electric stove. Wow, this is nice. That I never ever used up till now, I have to really? be honest. I cook on a little gas cooker I carry with me. I could only use this one when I'm plugged in on the outside. So I think I should rebuild that. So looking back, I shouldn't have installed this. I really have to talk to an electrician to get this running okay. more efficient. Yeah. Nice. And here yeah. then is a little fridge. Here's a little fridge. Here. Yes. Nice. Building. Yeah. Little. And now, now oh, when I am complaining, guys, most of the time about the size of my fridge, yes. I think like it's really bad that I complain. No, there are smaller ones. <laughs> yes, you know? there, are there are smaller, smaller ones. ones. <laughs> nice. And here then is a little storage. Yeah, this is just for, yeah. you know, the stuff you need, like my, my pens are in there, the garbage is in there. Okay. And this is the batteries for my solar system. The thing is, this was like a complete, um, like a complete set. Okay. But when we installed it, it was pretty clear that one battery isn't enough. <laughs> so yes. I had to buy a second one okay. just to 
have a storage for all this energy yeah. that's produced okay. with, the, with the solar. Perfect. You know, it's really nice, right? <laughs> I love it. The space here is a lot of storage for one, and could it be also for two people? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. That was nice. You're to welcome. Of your I have yes. an Instagram account, Maybe. not as professional as yours, <laughs> but it's Unimog underscore Overlanding. Yes. Follow her in her journey because she's going to have an amazing journey. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> see you when we see you. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you for the ride. <laughs> Thank you. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> wow. Thanks for watching and thanks for signing up to our newsletter, hopefully. And uh, there is a lot of new updates. So, see you when we see you.